and welcome to a rather different video today from Colour with Claire. I'm not going to be reviewing any colouring books or anything like that today. I'm going to be decoupaging a pair of shoes. So obviously very, very different to what I usually do, but this channel is about arts and crafts as well and I do want to move into that um, section as well as colouring. So yeah, decoupaging shoes. Now it's the first time I've ever done this. Uh, but here are the shoes that I'm going to be decoupatching. As you can see, there are a really old sort of pair of pumps that are quite worse for wear and just a bit ugly. Um, so I'm going to be making them absolutely beautiful, hopefully, with this range of decoupage papers and things that I have been sent from Claire Fontaine. So as I say, first time I'm doing it, so you'll be able to see firsthand what it's like to decoupage a pair of shoes and whether it's easy or not and how to do it. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the very first thing you'll need to do before anything else is if your shoes have a shiny or glossy finish to them, you'll need to just get some sandpaper and give them a bit of a rub all over so that it creates a sort of a roughness and a key for those um, for the glue to stick to and the paper to stick to because they might just slide off or just not be as sticky as they could be if you just do this first. So you just need to rub over it a little bit don't go mad otherwise you will rub into the shoe like I did just there so just lightly go over the shoe and that's literally all you need just a few passes so when you've done that you've then got to choose which kind of paper you want to decoupage it with and as you can see I've got loads and loads of samples here and they're all absolutely beautiful um, you can get these in these big sheets uh, you can buy them individually or you can get them in little packs that look like this that contain five sheets but the sheets are just slightly smaller than A3 because this isn't quite A4 uh, so they, you do get quite a lot with each sheet if you think about you yeah, only having to rip them up into tiny pieces, uh, you will be getting a lot out of one sheet. So let's have a look at some of the patterns that I've been sent. These are absolutely gorgeous and I've got some lovely summer dresses that I could wear these shoes with once I have decoupaged them. And that is why I think I'm going to be choosing something really colourful and florally. This one is gorgeous. It's got flowers and gems and diamonds and brooches and jewellery and things all over it. It's absolutely stunning. And there are literally hundreds of designs to choose from. I'm going to be putting the link to buy or to just have a look in the description box below for you to go and see all the different designs of papers. There's literally something for everybody. There's a pattern for everything. There's colours for everybody. Um, so really it just depends what you're into. Now, this is the decoupage glue it's a glossy finish and when you open it up it just looks like normal pva glue now what you need to do to decoupage is you need to get a brush like this this is quite a stiff brush it's a proper decoupage brush and it's made i believe from hog's hair and this is something that you will definitely need because i don't think you can do it just by hand it'd be a right mess so basically what you do is you choose which paper you're going to use and then you tear off or even cut off if you want a more uh, patchwork effect. Tear up little pieces of paper into about, uh, I don't know, let's see, uh, inch by inch squares, which is about sort of here. Um, and basically dip your brush into the glue put the piece of paper over the shoe and just glue over it like you would used to when you're making sort of paper mache things just completely cover it in glue and paper and that's what I'm going to be doing now and I'm going to speed this up so that it doesn't take up hours of your time because I'm not sure how long it's going to take me so I'll speed it up and then I will talk to you after about how I found the process and different uh, tips and tricks so see you soon Okay, I've already done one shoe and I've done it on a time lapse, but it was quite fast, obviously, and I just wanted to make sure that you could all see the steps exactly and clearly and slowly so that you can do it yourself. So, here is the shoe that I had just done, which you'll see the time lapse for in a moment. And I'm just going to get the other shoe and show you exactly how I did it. So. We're going to start off with 
bit of glue on the brush. Now this brush is quite coarse and that is for a very good reason as I've discovered with the other shoe because it serves to actually push the tissue paper around a little bit if you need to flatten out any um, creases or air bubbles so it's quite stiff for a good reason um, also it has to be fairly um, strong so yeah really really good strong brushes now what I started with was right up here at the bow and as you can see I've laid a layer of glue down already and then I'm gluing over the top so it's as I said earlier a bit like when you're making paper mache at school um, you would glue a bit down and then put a piece on and a piece on newspaper and it's exactly the same technique as that really so you make sure it's really well glued and when you come to fiddly pieces like the edge just make sure there's lots and lots of glue on it and then try to push the paper into the crease of the shoe and that's where these coarse brushes again come in really handy and just do your best because we're going to be able to trim any excess off at the end with a craft knife this is just very rough at this stage so you just keep going with your layers of glue and paper now you can do as many coatings as many layers as you want on that other shoe I've only done one layer at the moment I might put another layer on just to give it a bit of strength but I'm just gonna do one layer for now so you can see now obviously the glue is showing really well at the moment but as soon as it dries it will dry clear so you don't have to worry about any streaks or marks or white spots because it's going to dry completely clear so this tissue paper this decker patch paper is is really strong actually it's strange because when I first handled it I thought this is just going to rip and it's not going to handle any kind of wetness the glue at all and I was so surprised to find that none of it on that other shoe has ripped at all and I've not been careful really I've not been um, watching how I'm handling it I've just been going for it and it's really quite strong surprisingly strong to say that it's so thin so let's see let's have another one of these so I've just torn up some strips in sort of squares but not exact squares because I just wanted it to have a bit of a, a rough patchwork effect rather than anything uh, particularly neat and tidy but it's really up to you how you want to do it so this is basically it all the way around the shoe as I say if you get any overhang don't worry about that we can trim it off at the end just make sure that you're gluing it really generously now when you come to an edge like the inner edge of this shoe here what I've done and I don't know if this is right or wrong way to do it but this is what I've done is I have give it a bit of an overlap on the inside and then just again glued it and just smoothed it out with my finger it is quite messy this so be prepared to get glued up and be pulling it off your fingers like I used to do in class. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's absolutely, when it's dry, it's lovely. So on that other shoe, it looks really, really smart. And any creases you've got, you can use this really coarse brush to sort, brush to sort of dab them out and smooth them over. Now, as you'll notice on the other shoe, I'll just show you, I've got some really rough edges here. Hopefully you can see that on the inside. Now, I'm not a perfectionist, so that doesn't bother me at all. And once you've got the shoe on your foot, you can't see that anyway. So I probably won't even bother doing anything with that. I might just trim it to give it a bit more of an edge, but it's really rough as you can see. Um, but obviously, if you want to, you can take really take your time with it um, and just get some neat pieces so that it looks really professional and tidy but I'm not one of those people <laughs> I 
So I'm just going to put a few more layers on here and then I'm going to go straight to the uh, time lapse video that I recorded for the other shoe so that you can see it being done really quickly. So super, super easy. Anyone can do this. It'd be a great craft to do with your kids, actually, if they want to decoupage anything. You can you can decoupage anything. Um, I've seen people doing furniture, um, shoes, obviously, bags, anything. Anything. You can decoupage anything. And that is, it makes it really, really versatile. And it's just a way to, um, what's the word? Customise everything. You know, you don't always have to have the same shoes as everyone else or the same uh, bag or whatever else and it's that little sense of accomplishment that you've done this yourself and when you get compliments on them and they ask where you've got them from you know that they're totally unique and you made them yourself so I'm going to stop rabbiting on now and get on with the time lapse and then I'll come back to you afterwards and show you the finished pair of shoes and how to varnish them and I'll also be showing you how to embellish them with jewels and other stuff so see you soon So now that the glue has dried, you'll see that it's dried completely clear. We can see all the vibrant colours and patterns of the paper that we put on there. Next you would take a craft knife and just trim off any of the excess uh, paper that you put on that overlapped around these uh, areas here. Now I found that a bit difficult and obviously because I uh, get bored quickly and I don't like to sit there for hours trying to peel off little bits of paper I thought of a quick lazy way to neaten up the edges of your shoes and that is with a black permanent marker now it doesn't matter if your shoes weren't black before because obviously they're all covered now nobody knows what color they were before so this is purely just to neaten up the edge and as you can see it does a really good job of uh, neatening it up and I've just got this last bit to do here so I thought I'd just show you what I do so really really simple this is a big wide chisel tip pen so it's a lot easier to cover large areas and within a few seconds you can see a lovely neat edge probably just move that up a little bit there now because we are going to be varnishing these shoes you won't have any rubbing of this pen off onto your feet or skin because they'll be varnished so they'll be protected now I've never done this before as I did mention earlier on in the video so I don't know how long varnish lasts or if you have to put another coat on at any stage so if you do notice any transference of the pen I would just say in the future to put another coat of varnish on it so as you can see really really neat now uh, not here because I've not finished that bit yet. I'll just do that now. So, there we go. There we go. So, we're going to varnish them. So, we've got this hypoallergenic varnish here, which is great because you can use it on things like shoes and other things that are going to be coming into contact with your skin. So, it's not going to be any harsh chemicals. And we're going to get another one of our decoupage brushes and basically it's just like before where we just covered it in glue and this time you're just going to be covering it in the varnish so here we go you can do as many coats of this as you want and obviously this is going to make the shoes waterproof as well so if you go out and there's any light showers it's not going to peel off all of the paper that you've put on underneath I'm going to be taking this varnish right over the seams and onto the sole of the shoe just to give it that extra 
bit of waterproof around the edge. And of course, take it over the pen that you've just put on and over the tops of the shoes. Basically just cover everything apart from obviously the inside of the shoe and the bottom of the shoe. This varnish, it doesn't have an offensive smell. In fact, I can't smell it at all. So this is fine for people with, you know, people who don't like strong smells or have sort of breathing problems. So I'm gonna carry on doing these shoes and I'll come back to you when it's dry. So the varnish is now completely dry. Uh, it took around about a day to dry fully where it wasn't still in that tacky stage. Um, but if you put it in the window on a nice warm day or just somewhere warm, it will dry quicker. And yeah, so it's lovely. It's got a lovely smooth finish to it and uh, there's no rough parts or anything anywhere. So it's absolutely brilliant application and it's got a little bit of a gloss to it as well. So that is going to make the shoes waterproof. And the varnish, as I mentioned, is hypoallergenic, so it can be used um, on things like this, which are gonna come into contact with your skin. So, the next and final part of the process is an optional part, and it is the embellishments. So I've been sent three of these patch liners, and what they are is coloured relief paint, and they also act as a glue for your sequins as well, if you wish to put sequins on. And you can put these on the shoes, just like a normal paint, but they have this very, very fine tip, like an icing nozzle, and a really, really fine, you can just see that what I've squeezed out, really fine layout of the paint. So you can get really precise with these, and I'm just gonna put a little bit, just on some of the uh, centers of the flowers, and you can't see that very well, obviously, I've got quite a busy pattern on these shoes, so anything I'm gonna do with these isn't really gonna show, but you can hopefully just see where I've just put it on there, that it's quite 3D and it comes off the shoe and that's how they dry as well. So you can make some really funky patterns with them. But as it is, I'm going to use them as a glue for my sequins. Now I think I'm gonna go with these green faceted ones. I'll just see if you can see that they are faceted there. Um, because the green will contrast with the pink and you'll be able to actually see them. So I've dabbed on that patch liner there and now I'm just going to push very lightly on the sequin and there we go, it's completely glued down now and it just has to dry. So you can see the patch liner underneath but that's okay because it blends into the shoe anyway and I'm not bothered. So you would basically just go around the shoe with your patch liner, either using it as glue or using it as a 3D paint and hopefully get these fiddly sequins stuck on. So it's really, really quick and simple and you've created these completely yourself and I think it's just really nice to have a customised pair of shoes or whatever it is you're customising because you've spent time um, making it how you wanted to make it and it's individual and unique to you and you'll have people asking you where you got them from but you can just tell them you made them yourself <laughs> okay so I'm not going to overdo it with the sequins I'm just going to do it on a couple of the centers of the flowers Okay, um, I'll just do one more here. Oops. There we go. Might just do one here as well. Okay, there we go. So it's totally up to you whether you want to embellish your shoes or not, but I just thought I'd do it to show you how you, how you actually do it. And as you can see, I've got a few little green 
sparklies on there and yeah so you can basically do whatever you want with deco patching it's so unique to the actual person there's so many different types of papers patterns colors um that you can jazz up anything in any way that you want to so if you've got a certain decoration style or color scheme in your house and you maybe want to deco patch um the the fronts of some drawers or cupboards you can do that and you will always be able to find a paper or a colour that matches your decor. And obviously these embellishments are optional so you don't have to do that but it's a nice um, addition to it if you decide to. And I really hope you've enjoyed watching me make these uh, decapatch shoes. Obviously I'm not a professional, this is the very very first time I've done it so you've come along with me for the journey. Um, and I'm, it's not going to be perfect obviously as you've seen. But I just hope you've enjoyed watching it and it's given you a little bit of inspiration and ideas for how you can customise your things. I'll leave all the links in the description below where you can find everything I've used in this video. And I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.